I brought the luck and he brought the pot. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Let me bring there, him. Boing. I'll swear. Welcome I'm, to Cooking Cheap. I'm Larry Bly. I'm Laban Johnson, and thank goodness we're not in the 60s because we'd probably be doing drug jokes or oh, something. Dear, but we're no, not. We don't not. do that yes, anymore. Very no. anti. This Absolutely. program is very anti. Hey, I wanted to. I wanted to, to show you these things. These are kind of neat. These are not available in any store. In fact, they're not available on this show either. <laughs> to be quite honest with you, I could just show them to you because we think they're kind of neat. They go up out in our press kit, which most yes. mortals do. <laughs> if you get do them not off. Say, ha! Oh, oh, well, that's no. terrific. Well, we've had noodles stick better than that. There we go. Yeah. Our little uh, magnets. Uh -huh. Isn't that neat? Magnetic I've been logos. giving them to some of my friends. I hope I'm supposed to. He's gone through at least three of them. <laughs> <laughs> he is so cruel. Oh. He really is. Pot luck supper. i got to tell you, I have been to, this is no joke, I don't know what it is. The world is broken out in potluck suppers. I don't think anybody can afford to have a real meal anymore. Mm -hmm. I have been, in the last six months, to at least 25 or 30 potluck <coughs> suppers or dinners or whatever. Holy cow. Incredible. I'm sick of it. I don't blame you. I am too. <sighs> well, I've anyway. had it. Yeah. Well, we started looking around through the recipes that you, our faithful, trusty viewers, have sent in, and we found this uh -oh. one mm -hmm, <laughs> from Claudette Irvin. Claudette. Of Claudette of Dante, Virginia. Is that right? Dante. 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 I don't know. Dante. Is that Dante. where they have that inferno? Virginia. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. Uh, but anyway, she sent in this recipe for a kitchen sink pot pie. We took one look at it and said, if ever there was a recipe made in heaven for a potluck supper, this is it. Mm. And I want to tell you, it ain't pretty. <laughs> I just don't have any idea how this is going to taste, and the people at some of those high price spreads are going to be real upset because virtually everything in this recipe comes out of a can or a box. Oh dear. Mm hmm. Everything. We, we get and if you don't have a can opener, you out of luck. Mm. No way you can do this recipe. Let me show them what to do. People will be throwing asparagus remarks all <clears> on <throat> us. Right. Well, you, first you take yourself. Uh, old uh, Claudette said it was a 10 ounce package of pie crust mix, but the only one I could find was 9 ounces. Uh, so. You're already off to a bad start. <laughs> one ounce shy. I've heard them say right. that of you quite frequently. Uh, <laughs> that is one ounce shy. And you, uh, you just empty it over here in a big, now this is a one pan meal. Because you can do everything uh -oh. in one bowl. I'm already <laughs> suspicious. And so you, you throw it down in there. A one pan meal. Now, before you add the liquid to it, you have to add a half a cup, cup Tip. of uh, shredded cheddar. Now, this was in the back of my car on the way over here because I pre-shredded it, <laughs> and it has glopped up on me. But I, I hope that when well, I pull it out down in there that sort it... Sort of looks like your hair in the morning. Well, you know, and you put this in and do it around before you... Uh, Put your liquid into it so that it put it in and do it around. Right. Uh -huh. That's right. <laughs> so that the he's doing liquid. it around now. <laughs> well, stirring it. I'm sorry, I couldn't think of the word. No, in my I mind didn't think it was very funny. But you got to pull it apart and get all these little cheesies apart in here, and mix it around. Well, it's already looking real interesting. Well, it lady. is. I mean, and of course, you know, I have vowed and sworn that I am going to get so that I can roll out stuff on this show this year. So uh, I managed to roll it out, and it was respectable at home. I didn't mm. make too much of a mess doing it. But you got to stir it around until all these little pieces separate if they merge together. Now, if this was freshly shredded cheddar, can you say that real freshly fast? Freshly shredded cheddar. Three times. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say it three times. There's no need to say it three times. Oh, I want you to. I said it once well <laughs> enough for you to understand. <laughs> all right, now to this you add five or six tablespoons full of water. I got five in there. Is that pre-measured? Uh-huh. And you diddle it around here a little <laughs> bit until it <laughs> lumps up on you. <laughs> and I'm trying, I think I'm gonna have to have another shot of water in here to get it yeah, to That's lump what up. happens with that pre-measured stuff. Doesn't uh -huh. always work out. Yeah, well, it's rolling up into a ball, but I don't, I mean, that was just fine. But it's much better to start out with too, uh, little, little, little too much. You know what they right. used to call that where I came from? We put too much in there. What? Drown in the miller. Oh, that's right. That's, that's right. You drown the miller. Now everyone's wondering what in the world that means. 
<laughs> well, that's because a lot of ignits out there. Well, no, it's because you used to get flour from the mill. That's right. Uh -huh. So if you put too much water or milk in it, you drown the miller. All right, now. And he's right. It's best to start out safe than to end up sorry. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were going to throw it in the sink. I, I thought some, that's how it got its name. I got to have some flour here. Oh, no, not this. Oh, yes. And you have to oh, had a cake, me. had a cake. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're going to take this, you're going to make a lump out I of it. I just here. love to watch you get to working on this stuff. <laughs> I just, now, it's you want to take about two thirds to three quarters of your dough out and leave the rest of it in there because we'll need it later on and just compact it here a little bit and do it up in a kind of kindly a wad and what we're going to try to do is to get it rolled out so that it will go down into this two quart casserole dish one time baby and it's got to fill it up and come up the sides now let me tell you something don't try this in a dish smaller than two quarts because oh. when you put all this other mess in there it won't fit Whoa. So you gotta have at least two quarts. Oh, Nelly. Now, let me get some flour up here on the well, top of this, baby. it's looking real pretty. I don't know, Bly. It just makes me so nervous doing <laughs> this. Let's see if I can. Well, it's made Nora. Well, Dora's a little nervous, too. She's taking some uh, tag amount, I, I believe wish it is. We I'm had, not sure what it is, some kind I of I wish drug. I had some kind of little rubber things on here to hold this thing down so it won't roll all over creation. Well, I don't know. If you put rubber on that dough, it just, I don't not know. Not on the dough, It makes it fool. stay still, but it's just awful when you eat that stuff later on. I think you are going to get good at that this season. I really do. Well, I'm trying. Lord knows. Looking real good, Johnson. <laughs> Looking real good. Now, now take your time. Well, Just I'm take now, your time. All right. Now, after you get this thing rolled, look at that thing go. Woo! He's rolling. He's on a roll. In my sweet baby's he arms. He was on a biscuit, but he's on a roll. All right. Now. In your sweet baby's arms. Uh huh. Now let's see. <laughs> this, this is, is the, the good way part. they do it on TV. Oh, uh, on TV. Well, you right. are on TV. Oh no. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Shoot a monkey! <laughs> Dang on it! Oh, I that's... can't get anything to go right on this show. It just makes me so mad. Now I'm going to have to mold it. Oh well. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really am. Just bear with us, folks. <laughs> we'll try real hard to. Get this in oh, here. And that's our. It really is difficult to handle <laughs> real thin dough now, <laughs> especially in a casserole that wasn't made. For that's it. right. Okay, but now look, it's working. I'm getting well, it he's there. He's piecing it together there. If the pieces fit, and if they don't, they'll pay for it, and they'll pay dearly. Okay. Well, Bly, now I've I've got other things to do. Yeah. So you go ahead and and fool around there while I. Try to fix this thing. Oh, dough, your name is Mud. Okay. I have just, I'm getting ready to fix a wonderful German potato salad, and I know that this German potato salad is good, gut, as it were, uh, because I have served this at home on numerous occasions. I have boiled six medium sized boiling potatoes. Oh, and <laughs> yeah, those things are hot. I'm telling you, yes they are. So anyway, uh, <laughs> well, so I boiled them yesterday. I'm a little busy today, what can I tell you? All right, six medium-sized boiling potatoes. Well, I'm that too. Scrubbed, but not peeled. I gotta tell you, I don't make any potato salad anymore that I don't just leave the peels. It's not worth all the effort. And besides, it's good for you. It really is. And These it's are, trendy too. It's trendy and it's good for you and it's mangled. Oh, anyway, this is, these are little red potatoes. Very, very lovely. I boiled them for about anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. It varies from potato to potato. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to take those and we're going to slice them all up in a big bowl. Just, just rough slice them like so. All right? And, well, that's pretty good. I didn't do too badly. It's fairly good consistency. Sort of, kind of the consistency of rubber. No, not really. It, it is just right. You don't want them so that they all fall apart uh, when you, you know, do them. And you got to have a fairly sharp knife because these, these little jackets do have a tendency to get caught up and get in the way. So I'm going to just peel them around. 
I need another bowl. I'm sorry, I didn't think I did, but I think I will. Doesn't need to be a very big one. Thank you, Doris. <sighs> Doris had to put her pills down there for a minute, but anyway, she's, thank you very much. Appreciate it very much. And see, you made her so nervous there a minute ago. Well, that why she... Doris is not on the pill? No, no. I mean, her, her oh. stomach. You got oh. her real nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Oh, we're having a good time today. <laughs> I got to roll out some more dough while you're oh, doing Oh, no, it. don't tell me. Well, thank heavens we're not going to have to watch him go through that misery again, I hope. Now, you can also, while you're doing this, there's a nasty part right there, just a real ugly uh, part right there on it. And just make sure you cut that out. You don't want to give anybody any ugly stuff when they're eating. Even though it will be covered with things and you could get by with it if you have people you don't <laughs> like very well. <laughs> Sometimes I get rid of real nasty potatoes uh, in potato salad. I, I think we've all done it. Admit it. You've gotten rid of some right low down potatoes in potato salad before. I know I have. I try and get fairly good ones for this recipe though because it doesn't have an awful lot of goop on it, as you will discover. The wonderful thing about this kind of potato salad is you can make it up on a summer day. Doesn't have to go in a refrigerator. You can just let it set out until you're ready to serve it because you serve it at room temperature. If you do have to store it away in a refrigerator, it'll still be good, even cold. You can serve it either way. It's best when it's warm. I used, I was telling Doris, my lovely assistant, before we went on the air, that I love to do this in the summertime because it does not take up space in my refrigerator in the summer when I'm trying to fix a lot of other things for a picnic or a deck party or something like that. All right. Potatoes are all nice and however you like to do them. You may do them, chop them in big lumps or whatever. I like to do them this way for German potato salad because I think it's a little more traditional. Uh, if you ever get it at a, at a store or if you ever buy it at a deli, it usually looks that way. Now the next thing I'm going to do, as if that was the most exciting thing in the world, is a pretty dull thing called chopping onions. And I'm sorry, i got to do it and I'm going to do it. I think we ought to check back with old, the old doughboy himself, Mr. Johnson, and see if he's still wrestling over there with his dough. Well, in the same <coughs> bowl that uh, I mixed the dough up in, I'm going to put a drain, a one pound can of carrots, a one pound can of potatoes that have to be sliced. Why canned potatoes beats me. Uh, <laughs> a can of, and it was supposed to be ruffled pasta and tomato sauce, but I couldn't find it, so I, I kind of like these Chef Boyardee uh, dinosaurs because oh, no. I thought it would be kind of fun, so oh, I got those. No. And then a 12-ounce can of Spam chopped up into chunks. Mm. And mm, 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 mm. so I'm going to start opening these vegetables and draining them out and s slicing them up and getting them ready. And once all of that's mixed up, we'll come back from Larry and I'll put in the rest of the ingredients. Okay. Well, I'm just a chop, chop, chopping along here. Now what you need to do is you need to have about a cup. That's about one medium-sized onion. Finely chopped onions. And <gasps> I'm just finishing that up right now. And what Look I will do, that. what's now, that? The one I had today. What? The, the potatoes were all nice and firm, and look, uh -huh. they've turned to mashed potatoes. They have in indeed here. turned to mashed potatoes. Okay, we're going to take that and we're going to put that in this bowl. It's a little sloppy today. I'm getting more onions out on the counter than I am in, in the uh, bowl here, I'm afraid. It's been that kind of day. So, put those in there. Next thing you do is we take uh, two-thirds cup of chicken stock and add to that two-thirds cup and you don't want to overdo the chicken stock. Two-thirds cup. Oh, I got a dribble can all over the place. I got a soft drink thing this morning in, a, in you know, one of the fast food mm -hmm. paper Excuse cups me. and Excuse it leaked up. and it was a big mess. And I ought to tell what the name of it is. It's just a bunch of clowns that promote it. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think it'll be all right. And a third cup of olive oil. Third cup of olive oil. And you know I had to go out and get a fairly big one because I wanted to make sure I had enough. <laughs> uh, 
Well, Johnson didn't pick oh, up. Oh, I one, thought you he? meant a cup. No, no, no. I'm oh, talking I'm sorry. about the about olive, the olive oil. oil. You know, the stuff is so expensive, and there's a little leftover for me at home. <laughs> Gonna put that in there. That's good quality oil, too, I might add. Anything with that much olive oil in it would have to be good. A tablespoon of white wine vinegar. This is a little bit more than a tablespoon, so I'll take it kind of easy. And two teaspoons of prepared mustard. And I got uh, Dusseldorf German style. Doozel who? Doozel dork. <laughs> There's one. I heard somebody call you that the other day. <laughs> Said you were nothing but a doozel dork. <laughs> I swear. I know I'm going to have to smack him before the show's over. And that's Doris, hot I need a mustard plate. and two teaspoons of salt. You got to add to that mixture also. Move that over there. That's one and two. And buckle my shoe. Two, three, and four, four, and all. Enough, enough, enough. Now, Larry, if teaspoon of finely, freshly ground pepper. While you're peppering, can I can I show everybody Go this? Ahead. I'm now going to pour in the large can of dinosaurs in spaghetti <laughs> sauce over into this casserole. Now, let me tell you something I found out yesterday. What'd you find out, Johnson? Doesn't make any difference who the manufacturer is on this pasta in the sauce. Mm -hmm. You can't get pasta in just tomato sauce. Mm. You got to either get it if it's in tomato sauce, it's got little uh, mini meatballs in it, or you can get it in tomato sauce with cheese in it, but you can't get it in just plain tomato sauce. Well, I'll be darned. I think it's real curious. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I will squeeze the Spam out the can. Does this remind you of your days back on the farm, Bly? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Well, I never opened a can of Spam I'm on the farm. No, in my no, life. I mean the sound. Oh. <laughs> I swear. It's coming, it's coming in. Open the other end. Oh, yeah, I hear doors. Put a little hole in the other end, it would have slid right out. Sometimes he ain't got no common sense. Like I ain't got there no grammar. Okay. All right, well, you go ahead. Did you see now. that thing bounce? <laughs> I'd love to know what would have you pitch that thing across the studio. Okay, back to me. <laughs> Thank you. I got to finish this recipe and I only got one more little thing to do. Then when you get all of that, what you do is you take the juice of a half a lemon. <laughs> I should have had a uh, juicer, but that's all right. I'll watch and if there's any seeds fly out of here, I'll serve that part to Laban. But anyway, we're going to be very careful about squeezing that. So if you see him, oh, look at that. I'm just sh shooting it all over everything. I swear. All over Dixie. It's just going, oh, okay, the seeds are starting to come out now. None of them are going in, so I'm going to be very careful. That's all I'm going to put. Now, what you do is you mix that all around. That is a perfectly delightful, delightful, I don't know, what would you call it, sauce or whatever? Dish. With the Dusseldorf hot mustard and the oils and all that. And then what you do is you take that, of course, and you just pour it over top of your potatoes, and then we will toss the stuff through the potatoes. Now I want to tell you, when this sets for a couple of hours, by the time you're ready for your picnic, that is one absolutely fabulous tasting potato salad, German potato salad, and that's it. And that's all you do. And it's wonderful. Well, Larry, now I'm chopping up a half a green pepper. Should be about a quarter of a cup of green pepper. And that goes over here into our bowl full of mess. I'm going to just throw that over. And also, I'm going to put in, I've got about six little green onions, and I'm going to have the white and the green part in this recipe. If they don't all fall off on the floor. You know, next week, maybe we can use our new electrical equipment. Doris has been out and found She's been a shopping. cheap food processor. Yes, she's been shopping. So that we can accomplish some of these things a little more swiftly. Now, this is a quarter cup of green pepper. 
and you stir all of this mess up real good. Isn't this pretty? Oh, you know it is. That sure is lovely, Laban. And, uh, and you know it's got to be good for you, too. <laughs> All right, let, let, let's do the recipes yeah, while we're mixing For those of up. you that find looking at it a little tedious. Okay, the kitchen sink pot pie. <laughs> All right, you have to have a 10-ounce <laughs> package of, of pie crust mix, a half cup shredded cheddar cheese, two 15-ounce cans of wide ruffle pasta. Ooh, I only used one. Uh, an 8-ounce can of whole <laughs> potatoes, an 8-ounce can of diced carrots, a 12-ounce can of luncheon meat, and a quarter cup of green pepper and a quarter cup of green onion. I figure it's a good thing they make us read these and then we figure out what it is we left what, what out. We the German wrong. potato salad, six medium boiling potatoes, about two pounds, scrubbed but not peeled. And you just boil those 15 or 20 minutes probably till they're just nice. One cup of finely chopped onions, two third cups of canned chicken stock, a third a cup of olive oil, a teaspoon of white wine vinegar. Gives it a little snap. Two teaspoons of prepared hot mustard, which really gives it a little snap two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. I didn't have freshly ground, but I had to use regular. A juice of a half a lemon and put it all in there and it's just, mwah. it's just the way German potatoes are. Well, look at this. Now this is really starting to become something. Uh-huh, but we don't know what yet. <laughs> now, and you, you do your little lattice work over this. Mm, that's pretty. You remember Gladys' work? Yeah. All right. And then, oh my, my, my. And then you bake it in an oven for a half an hour at 350 degrees. And uh, it's just fabulous, or have you tried it yet? Oh, I haven't tried it. We're going to try it together oh, here in just boy. a minute. Let me go get this one out of the oven that mm. I have previously I done. I know, up. I can hardly wait. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm, I feel the same way, Larry. I'm so excited about this. There are just a few times on this show when we're both so excited about well, something. Well, while I'm getting this out, see if Ms. Witch has got anything for us today about what she wants us to do next week. She's supposed to be along right about now. Cue the witch. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of cackles. Have you heard that? Uh-huh. Oh, that's Doris. I'm sorry. I got to have a big serving Ooh. spoon, Doris. Big serving spoon, Doris. Dear guys, what sports do you two play? Both of you seem to be on the fatso side <gasps> and probably need to get those floppy bods out on the fields for some real exercise. Oh, there you are. What we want for a party is an after the game party for our own croquet leg. Oh, for <laughs> heaven's sakes. And watch what you do. It's a mixed leg. <laughs> And per Percival Throckmorton III. Uh-huh. Percival Throckmorton III. What's it mean? Oh, it means well, that next week next we're going to... Next week, after the game. Party. Absolutely. After the game is over. over. Blah, 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 <coughs> blah, blah, blah. I'm just all a Twitter at the thought of having some of this casserole. I'm stuck. Okay. Oh, me. Well, it looks real good. It does? Looks like pumpkin. Uh... <laughs> That's the greatest flood. Oh, no, I messed up oh. the tablecloth. Look at that. He threw it all over the letters and everything. <laughs> well, I'm going to get a little of my German potage and put that here. Let me give you some of this German potato oh, salad. Hoping you would. In case you don't want to eat uh, a lot of the other. Uh, oh, I didn't do a very good job of that, did I? Well, well thanks. I think you got <clears throat> lots of onions and not much of anything else. Well, now I'll try yours here, and we'll just, well, it sure is interesting with all those little animals in there. What are they? Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Huh. Well, the potato salad is real zesty and good. Now, let's see about this casserole. Well, I got to tell you, I don't think the casserole's too bad. Let me see. I think it's right tasty. Oh, it's just like something you get at a potluck supper. Well, it is. I mean, it is. It's it's sort of one of those, you know, but didn't the crust turn out type nice thing? Well, yeah, it did. The <laughs> crust is just wonderful. Green well, peppers are kind of raw. Maybe you ought to blanch them first. Well, 
Mm. Try it at home and write us and let us know what you think. And if you can do better, write us and tell us the recipe. We'll see you around the campus. Bye.